The TT platform gives users the ability to create user-defined strategies on supported exchanges, submit RFQs for instruments and strategies, monitor RFQs submitted by market participants, and respond to RFQs by quickly placing orders. In this video, we will demonstrate how to submit an RFQ from the market grid, how to build a strategy, and how to use TT's widgets to seed instruments when creating a strategy. Here we have a workspace configured to trade options on eMini S&P futures. We have a market grid set to display option strategies, as well as an RFQ viewer which allows us to monitor RFQs submitted by market participants. Our RFQ viewer displays the time each RFQ was submitted, as well as how much time has passed since its submission. We also see the contract or strategy, as well as the strategy type. Next, we have the bid quantity, best bid, theoretical value, best offer, and ask quantity, followed by volatility and Greeks. If there are certain strategies we'd like to monitor more closely, the RFQ viewer allows us to pin those strategies to the top of the display. We also have the ability to remove strategies from the RFQ viewer by clicking the trash can icon. We can easily submit our own RFQ from the market grid. Since we can't submit RFQs in simulation, we'll be using a certification environment. We right-click over the desired strategy and select Submit RFQ. Once submitted, our RFQ shows up in the RFQ viewer. We can place orders for these strategies using a floating order entry widget, which we can launch by clicking the Bid Quantity, Bid, Ask, or Ask Quantity columns in either the Market Grid or the RFQ viewer. TT also gives us the ability to create strategies and submit them to exchanges using the Strategy Creation widget. We launch the Strategy Creation widget from the Widget drop-down menu. The Strategy Creation widget provides a number of templates which will pre-configure our strategy with the appropriate number of legs, ratios, and side settings, with red indicating a sell or blue indicating a buy. Let's select the Strangle template. The Strategy Creation widget creates two legs and populates the side and ratio columns. For our first leg, we will leave our instrument type set to Option, and then click Select. We type ES to choose E-mini S&P Futures, select March 17 as our expiry, and set our strike to 2245. Clicking the C will toggle between C and P to define the leg as a call or put. Let's change this to a put. We will repeat the process for our second leg using the same underlying contract and expiry, but we'll change the strike to 2295 and set the option type to C for call. As the contract in each leg is selected, the strategy creation widget begins displaying its best bid and best offer as well as Greeks. These values are used to display the aggregated Greeks for the strategy at the top of the widget. The strategy creation widget also displays the legs of the strategy in the strategy name field. You can give the strategy a more recognizable name if you would like to use it as a template and can click Save. Once we complete a strategy, we will check our Clear Legs on Submit to reset the strategy definition grid when we create our strategy. We select our account and click Create. This will automatically submit an RFQ for our strategy, as well as list it at the bottom of our strategy creation widget. We'll pin this strategy in our RFQ viewer as well. In addition to clicking the Bid Quantity, Bid, Ask, and Ask Quantity fields in the RFQ viewer to trade our strategy, we can also now click the Trade icon in the Strategy Creation widget to launch a floating order entry widget. We can quickly create similar strategies by either selecting the Saved Strategy from the Template dropdown or by clicking the Seed icon. Both will populate the Strategy Definition Grid with the selected strategy and allow us to edit. TT's Option Chain and RFQ Viewer provide capabilities to simplify the creation of strategies. If we are not seeing the exact strategy we are looking for in the RFQ Viewer, but we see a similar strategy, we can click the Strategy Creation button on a particular RFQ in the RFQ Viewer to seed the Strategy Creation widget with the instruments and ratio. We can now make changes to the strategy, and when finished, click Create. We can also seed our strategy creation widget with instruments using the strategy template buttons in the options chain. Clicking any of these buttons will initiate a spread builder mode, which will guide us through the selection of instruments. We will then see a strategy creation widget seeded with the selected instruments. As you can see, the TT platform provides a variety of tools to execute sophisticated option strategies. For more information, visit tradingtechnologies.com.